I want you to get ready to have your eyes finally open to some of the strange little secrets behind everyday items. From tape measures to toothbrushes to the kitchen stove, you'll never look at or use any of these things the same way again. Let's start with a humble tape measure. See how shy it is? It's actually a much more useful tool than you might think. Struggling to measure something on your own? Well, there's a hole or notch in the metal bit on the end. Called a nail grab, it allows you to hook it onto a small nail or screw, which then holds the tape measure in place while you pull it open. No more wild flopping around while you try to read it. Hmm, but that metal end seems a little loose. Maybe it's time to buy a new one. Nah, don't! The end is actually supposed to move around, helping you get an accurate measurement. The hook is actually 1 16th inch wide, and that little bit of movement takes this into account. If you push it against something for an inside measurement, the hook is included in the final number. If that hook is on the end of something for an outside measurement, the slight gap equals the space the hook would take up. Your measurements are always spot on. Oh, and stop bending the tape when trying to include a corner in the measurement. Your numbers will be wrong. Check the casing you'll actually find a measurement listed on the side. This is the length of the case itself. Press the casing into the corner, add that number to your measurement, and you'll have the correct information for any project. And guess what? There is actually a National Tape Measure Day. Ta-da! It's celebrated each year on July 14th. Wow, they really do have a day for everything. Now, another tool you haven't been using correctly? Hmm, the stapler. Take a closer look at the metal plate at the front end. This is called the anvil, and yes, it helps bend the staples. But did you know it actually has two settings? A traditional staple's arms point inward, securing several sheets of paper in place. But you can turn the anvil around to the pinning setting, so that the arms of the staple will point outward. These staples are designed to be temporary, like pins used in sewing, and are much easier to remove. Do you have a padlock for your bike, or a locker at school, or your shed, to keep your neighbor from borrowing things without asking? Then you may have noticed a small hole at the bottom, near the place where you put the key. The main purpose for this hole is to help drain water that might get inside. If the water isn't removed, it can damage the mechanism when freezing or by causing it to rust. If you do find your lock is stuck, though, it can be very frustrating. Don't panic. Add a bit of oil through this hole to help lubricate the mechanism inside, and it should soon start working again. Let's see what interesting things we can find in your closet. Nah, I'm not snooping. Well, maybe a little. Ooh, your coat is a good place to start. Some have a weird little half belt at the back. It doesn't wrap around to help keep the coat closed, so why is it there? Called a martingale, today it's little more than a style choice by designers, but it once served a very useful purpose. Some men's coats were made with additional material. The belt held that extra fabric in place. When the belt was undone, the jacket would open up wider and become a useful blanket. Very handy for when people were traveling and didn't have room to carry extra sleeping gear. Often, when you buy a new jacket or a fancy piece of clothing, it will come with a little bag that includes a few extra buttons and a little square of the fabric the garment was made with. The buttons are extras in case you lose one. That swatch of fabric, however, has several uses. Many people believe it can be used for patching small holes, but it also allows you to test your cleaning products on it. This way, you don't ruin your item the first time you toss it into the washing machine. It's better for that little swatch to turn a horrendous pink than your beautiful new coat. Bonus tip! Carry that swatch with you when you go shopping. It'll help when you're looking for a matching outfit. I mentioned buttons just a minute ago. Have you ever wondered why buttons on women's shirts are on the left, but on men's they're on the right? Well, there was a time when the side the buttons were on would indicate your social status. If you were a commoner, you would be dressing yourself. And these buttons would be on the right, easier for a right-handed person to do up. If you were wealthy and male, you would still probably be dressing on your own. But if you were a wealthy woman, 
you often had a chambermaid helping you put on clothing. Especially during times like the Renaissance and the Victorian era, where women's clothing would be quite elaborate, with everything from petticoats to corsets and bustles to consider. The buttons were on the left so the maid could use her right hand to secure them more easily. In time, it simply became part of mass-produced fashion, the reason long forgotten. And what about those boots and shoes? There is a loop on the back of some, but it's not there so that you can just hang them up. When you're putting your boots on, pull on the loop. It'll help your foot slip right in. Now those boots are really made for walking. Another thing you may not know is why there's a pom-pom on your beanie or toe. They were used by French sailors as extra padding, so they wouldn't hit their heads during rough weather on the naturally low ceilings when below deck. Of course, the pom-pom itself goes way back in time. There are even depictions of Vikings wearing them on their headgear. Using a form of knitting or crochet, they would add the pom-pom as a way to cover the exposed seams on the top of the hat. Okay, what can we find in the washroom? First, let's look at your trusty toothbrush. It's likely to have blue bristles on it. As you brush your teeth, hopefully twice a day, the color will begin to fade. When the blue is almost gone, it's time for a new brush. Oh, and you should be brushing your tongue to remove bacteria and food particles. In fact, if your toothbrush has ridges along the top of the head, this is a built-in tongue scraper. And then there are those annoying tubes of medicated cream. What, you got a rash? Not my business. Have you ever struggled to remove that silver metallic seal beneath the lid? That tube was designed to make this easy. Look more closely at the top of that cap. It has a spike right in the middle. Use this to pierce through the protective foil. Just unscrew the cap, flip it over, and push it down. Okay, let's head into the kitchen for a few more surprises. First, the oven. It has a stovetop for cooking soup and stir-fry, an actual oven part for making those amazing cupcakes, and the bottom drawer to store cookie sheets and pie plates, right? Eh, Not so fast. That bottom drawer might be more useful than you think. Many electric stoves are designed to use this as a warming drawer. You can keep food warm while waiting for other parts of your meal to finish cooking. That means no more apologizing for those cold mashed potatoes. Hey, I never apologize. If you have a gas range, though, you may actually have a broiler down there. Just check the drawer for a built-in rack that holds a broiler pan. And did you know you can also use it for grilling steak or burgers on a cold rainy day? Ooh, barbecue flavor without braving the outdoors! Now, you might have a few pots and pans with a hole at the end of the handle. One reason? Many people actually hang their pots on hooks to keep them out of the way when not being used. The other use? These holes can hold the utensil you're cooking with. If you're mixing pasta sauce with a wooden spoon, place the spoon into the handle. It is still handy, and any sauce on the spoon will drip back into the pot and not on the stove. And here's a time saver. Don't peel your garlic before putting it through the garlic press. The press is designed to push out the clove and keep the skin inside. This tip alone is a game changer. Wow, who knew a short video could dramatically change your life? Hey, it's a whole new me!